Hope you're having an amazing day. Today I've got something uh, truly special to share with you. This is the Morbout Scout E AI robot. And uh, this thing is uh, designed for both indoor and outdoors as well. So this little AI four wheel drive mini robot here is able to capture 1080p full HD. It also has a two way audio. Pretty much you're able to monitor your home, drive it around and be able to see it live straight from your phone. So the box itself here is pretty small. I was expecting like some bigger box. Let's go ahead and open up the box here. One thing for sure, the box definitely looks nice and it, this thing is packed very nicely. It's not like one of those squishy foams, so this is like very, very nicely packed. And uh, so we got the manual here and the actual mini robot itself here. Probably you can already see the excitement on my face. I definitely love whenever I get things like this to review. And uh, here we do have the power brick and then a USB type C cable here and the charging station. And the thing is, uh, this thing will go and charge itself. So you don't need to really navigate it. This will find it. So it does have this. Uh, so the camera knows where it is so it can go ahead and charge itself. So pretty much it's making contact from here and uh, here. And taking a closer look at the actual robot here, Definitely it's uh, well made here. It's not like flimsy or anything like that. As you can see here, uh, let's just go ahead and take this off. And uh, you can kind of see the camera there and uh, a few sensors here and up here. Uh, I believe that's the microphone and probably a speaker as well. And uh, looking at the back, we got the reset here. And at the bottom, we got the charging. And on the side here, we have a button. And uh, on the other side, the power button looks like here. But I definitely love the front bumper here. So you don't really have to worry about like if you're gonna smash into things because the bumper is there. I've gone ahead and updated the firmware. So this is the version 020149. So you got plenty of memory to definitely take some videos here. Uh, so privacy, cloud. So we're just going from the bottom up here. Uh, so cloud, you're able to set this up as well. So cloud service subscription and uh, control. So movement sensitivity, rotation sensitivity, uh, video, video resolution. So 1080p uh, camera brightness, you're able to adjust that night vision and uh, bit rate. We're going to go ahead and leave that to high and connect. And uh, we're going to go ahead and back here and click monitor. And uh, here we are. So let's see if uh, it's very, like, as you can see here, very responsive. There's little delay, which is actually really good to see here. I did review a robot uh, like this, not comparing the specs to this at all, but usually the delays are like really bad. This is like, as you can see, Okay, this thing is like fast. So I'm just gonna put my hand and see what happens here. Okay, it's definitely trying to push. So let's see, obstacle avoidance. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and exit that out. Looks like this does have some obstacle avoidance, but when it comes down, like if this is on a table and if you're going forward, it's, it's gonna drop, so just keep that in mind. So going a bit forward here, I didn't wanna just do an unboxing, do the testing right there on the table because it didn't make much sense. I wanted to take some time and fully like kind of test this uh, little robot out and tell you guys uh, what's uh, good and what's bad about it. So right now you can see here, I've set up a little obstacle. Uh, the reason why is I wanna go ahead and test out the patrol. So. Right now, what we're gonna go ahead and do is um, go around it, uh, set up the patrol, and then uh, run the patrol, see if it uh, goes around, and then see if it does the same exact thing, which it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and get that started. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a new patrol here. So all you need to do is click patrol, new patrol path. We're gonna go ahead and name it test three here. I've done a few other tests. I'll click okay. So it gets out of the charging station. Now we just need to maneuver it so it goes through the obstacle that we set up here. Okay. So 
So this is me manually driving it. And I'm just going to make it a little bit harder. I'm going to go through here and then uh, turn it around a little bit. Okay, now let's continue. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to leave it here, then we're going to click charging, then it's going to go ahead and complete the course here. So path is uh, successful. So now we're just going to have to wait until it goes uh, to its uh, charging station. Um, it's never the same, sometimes it's very quick when it goes to charge itself, sometimes it takes a little bit longer for it to like... Uh, like it already sees where, where the charger is, it's just like maneuvering itself so it can like align it. So what we are going to do is uh, go under patrol now. We got the test three here. We're going to go ahead and click. And now it's uh, pretty much, I'm not touching anything. It's doing its own thing. So let's just see how good it does going through the obstacle that we set up here. I would say that was a 90% pass there. Uh, one thing I found out is it does a great job when it when you're setting a patrol here, setting up a path, it does good. I've even set it up so it goes to a different room, comes back and all that, it it works fine. It's, it's perfect for that. Uh, one issue that I found, probably they're gonna fix this in a future firmware update. I'm gonna go actually send an email out after this and then uh, what happens is after it goes back from the route where it's supposed to go back to its charging station, it just uh, cannot find it. Like for example, if I click the charging now, you will see like it, like you can see the red uh, like border around it. That's one thing it doesn't do. So I'm assuming they just forgot to probably put it in after the patrol is done to go ahead and do that. But other than that, the patrol works fine. And it's able like to map out a room as well, which is nice. So the other thing it's uh, able to do is uh, follow you. So if I go ahead and uh, stand up here and uh, click uh, the follow. So right now, if I move somewhere, it's uh, pretty much uh, gonna go ahead and follow me. And it's pretty quick. And uh, let's say if I go back here, it's searching. So it's lost its view here, but if I go ahead and go in front of it again, it's uh, gonna go ahead and find me. This is pretty cool. If you go ahead and set this up and then uh, someone walks in, it's gonna go ahead and uh, like follow them around. As you can see here, it's still like doing its thing. Uh, let's see if it uh, comes here. And now it just goes back. It just tries to go back quickly so it doesn't lose the view. You've probably seen the Amazon, uh, the drone that kind of like patrols your house when you're not home and all that. So this is actually the next best thing here because it's able to kind of do that same thing but in ground. Uh, there are a few things that work perfect with this. The camera is great, no complaints there. Um, also when it comes time to like uh, latency, anything like that. So. Pretty much there's really little to no delay whenever like I'm maneuvering it. Um, obviously that's gonna depend on your Wi-Fi a little bit there as well. But so far I haven't encountered any issues when it comes to that part. Because even right now I do have a blink camera at home and whenever I wanna go ahead and click go live, it takes about maybe like five, 10 seconds sometimes for it just for me to see it live. But with this, I'm able to go ahead and click uh, monitor and this is how long it takes for it to come up almost like, I would say like two seconds and it comes up right away, which is uh, pretty quick. And I'm able like, there's like really little to no delay as you can see here, uh, whenever I'm pressing uh, the like, the forward backwards or rotate here, 
which is very nice. One thing, uh, I they put the charging uh, like kind of in the back, so whenever it needs to charge, it's really hard to do it by yourself, like to kind of align it, especially if you're not close by, to put it to charge it yourself. To go ahead and align it perfectly manually, it's very hard. That's one thing I found out here. And there's like no touch points on the front here at all. So it's gonna make it really difficult if you wanna go ahead and manually charge it for any reason that it doesn't do it automatically. But the automated charging works great. I haven't encountered any issues uh, as of yet. I know they said the charging points in the back here because uh, when it's here, so it can go ahead and you can set up a monitor. So that's the only way you, you are able to set a few monitors, for example, motion detect and zone detect. Those only work when this is like on charging mode. So aside from being a very smart camera in a way, a smart camera on wheels, and then uh, it's able to also do the patrol, which you saw the obstacle, it does nicely. Sometimes it doesn't work as it should. I've done a few tests. Sometimes it uh, doesn't go the route it's supposed to, but uh, most of the time it does what it's supposed to, which is good. And I'm assuming with the future firmware updates, they're gonna kind of make this even better. So whenever you want to go ahead and click uh, record because there's a eight gig memory inside of this and uh, we're able like to go ahead and take a picture. So if I take a picture here, this is the quality of the picture. And then let's say I want to go ahead and click a video here. Right now the video is coming directly from the scout here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and stop that. So it stops recording. The two-way audio works uh, exceptionally well, I saw here. Like if I go ahead and click the speaker, it comes on right away. Right away. As you can, as hear, you can hear, it does work it does as, it work as it should. And if I go ahead and click the microphone, microphone. testing the microphone, microphone. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, two. three. Also, I wanna show you the charging just to see how long it takes. So right now it's facing this way, the charging is here. So let's go ahead and click here and see how long it takes for it to find it. Okay, looks like it's found it here. As you can see, there's like a, a red border. And uh, when it's not aligned perfectly, as you will see now, it's not like perfect. It will like kind of go back and forth a little bit until it uh, fixes itself. So my final thoughts on this uh, small little robot here. One thing to keep in mind is it does get dirty here. Like as you can see, like uh, I've been using this for a day now and uh, you can see the tires probably in, you can't really see them on the camera, but there's a lot of hair and everything it's grabbing on its way and uh, looking at the front here. It, it tends to get a little bit dirty. So you're gonna probably have to take the tracks out, clean them up, put them back on. So that's one thing I can see myself doing for sure here. When it comes down to negatives, there's really little to find there. Uh, one thing is if the camera was to tilt up and down, that would have like made this uh, the perfect thing ever. Because uh, sometimes the camera, like if I'm placing it here, this is how much it's uh, capturing. Like if you could move it up and down, that would have been perfect because then you're able like to set this anywhere and you're able to even see like faces and all that as well. Uh, the other thing is this is able to really go anywhere. Um, as long as it has Wi-Fi signal, you're good to go. Uh, it's able to pretty much climb things too because it does have these uh, nice wheels here, nice tracks, and it is four wheel drive which is uh, good to see here. The other thing that works very well is the camera and the night vision. Uh, those are 
I would say if you're getting a camera, I would rather go for something like this because you're able like to maneuver this anywhere you want. So you're also able to program this. This is what makes this uh, go to the smart side, pretty much. Uh, so you're able to set up a few things. Uh, I already have some presets here, uh, but going to new, these are some of the things you're able to set up here. You're able to set the start timer and like there's so many ways you can set this up. Uh, there's media. So you're able like to play a sound when like finished, anything like that. And then there's the motion. You're able to tell it go to this point, after this point, turn around, things like that. Um, or like if you detect a human, uh, go here. So you're able to set that up as well. So this is the AI part here. Uh, so enable person identification, when person identified, make it do this. So you're able to set a few things up here. So there's logic, loops, uh, math, uh, lists, and uh, variables here as well. So you're able to create those. And then you're able to run those right away, preview them, run them, save them, and all that stuff as well. Here is a like a preset program that's already set up. I'm gonna hold this so it doesn't fall off the table But if I click run you will see like what's uh, running right now like it will highlight it So once it starts As you can see it's doing its thing here So whatever you program it it's gonna go ahead and do here and then that's the last step It's highlighting and then it stops. So that's part of the programming section here as you can see here at the top we have a removable top here uh, we're gonna kind of see like what's there because you're able to go ahead and mount other things on top here so let's go ahead and remove these screws and uh, here we have the top so you're definitely able to add uh, a few other add-ons here and uh, we can see a heat sink down there as well and now we're gonna go ahead and take off uh, the bottom here because we do have this metal piece that came with it and uh, it should go there uh, so let's just go ahead and take this part off. So here, uh, uh, this is the bottom portion. I'm not really sure what the, this thing is. Um, it's most likely like for an attachment here. Just the bumper itself here, it's very durable. And uh, this is really not gonna break at all. It's like, it's one of those like strong plastics. And uh, this button here, uh, so there's the button here and then the other power button on the other side here that you see. So what this one does is if I click on it, it will kind of like pause. Uh, so it will turn the Wi-Fi off. Uh, so if I click here, you will see like a notification that it does. So right now it's kind of off. So it's still on, uh, but the Wi-Fi is off right now. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the, this uh, little guy here, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer it. I'm definitely gonna be making a few short uh, videos uh, with this thing. So keep an eye out for those. I'll see you on the next uh, video.